80-year-old Frida Stevens has fond memories of George Hallett. Meeting in Athlone decades ago, Hallett soon became a family friend. Through the years, he documented many of the Stevens family's biggest occasions and everyday life. Stevens describes Hallett as an ordinary man with an extraordinary talent which he used to inspire and help others. Whenever he came over, he had his camera with him and he took pictures of the children, of, of anything. He was always interested in everything. Very nice, loving person he was. And that is why I had so many friends. The most important one was when he took pictures of our daughter's wedding. That was so beautiful. He spent the whole evening at the wedding and uh, we enjoyed his... his um, company all the time. Stephen says Hallett had the ability to carefully observe and capture life through his lens. The struggle against apartheid was one the Stevens family shared with the photographer. Self-taught, he enhanced his skills later in life. He captured much of District 6 before it was demolished. Going into exile and returning in 1995, Hallett was, among others, the official photographer of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Hallett remained humble and was well loved by all who knew him. We will always remember him for his light, his laughter, his boisterous personality, his outrageous jokes and being the life and soul of many a party. Nobody can doubt his artistry in capturing beauty and joy in everything he saw through his eyes and his lens. Nor can we doubt his contribution to photography, particularly South African photography. Rest in power, Papaji. Hallett inspired generations of photographers. One of them is the SABC lensman, Clinton Cerf. As a teenager, Cerf visited a family friend where he was introduced to Hallett's powerful work. Born and raised on the Cape Flats, Cerf discovered a new world and opportunity through Hallett's images. And in the house, there's always been these beautiful images. Little did I know it was the photographer George Hallett, you know, and that made me want to pursue a career in photography. I went to an institution and I took some of his images with me and showed the people that this is what I want to do. These are the images I like to take. And in that way, I got accepted. And he's been an inspiration to lots of people. Hallett may be gone, but his pictures will continue to paint tens of thousands of words about a country and its people. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town. Beautiful package there. Well, all roads led to the Knoll Historic Guest Farm in Hilton.